Consider this bridge to be an imaginary number line. And on one end, you have luxury cars like the 5 Series, the A6 and the E-Class. And on the other end, you have sports cars like the Lamborghinis and the Ferrari. So here at the center point, it is logical to expect a car that achieves a perfect balance between performance, luxury and style. But more often than not, cars that achieve such a balance are big luxury cars with sports car rivaling engines, like the BMW M5 or Merck's E63 AMG for example. But what if you wanted a sports car that looks like a sports car, performs like a sports car and has the comfort and practicality that is hard to find in a sports car? Well, Audi has found the answer to all these questions. In fact, they've built a bridge and that bridge is called the R8. Right behind your driving seats is that big V10 engine. It's a 5.2 litre engine and it produces close to 525 PS of power and 530 Newton meters of torque. Needless to say, that is proper supercar territory and that's a lot of power. But what really excites me is the way it sounds. Believe me, it is not only about the twisties. Even if you hit a straight patch of road like we do right now, for miles and miles and miles together, it will create a big corridor of that beat sound, making people rush out of their houses, come onto the road, turn heads, just try to get a glimpse of this car. Just listen to that sound. Even better when you need to doubt it. Just listen to that. You can just keep going on and on and on. And the fuel tank finally goes empty. There is a launch control. TC on sport mode. Going to drive, put the car in sport, left foot on the brake, right foot on the throttle, car revs, stays at four and a half, and you're off. Juta hai na, juta hai na, launch control juta hai na.